What is up, I Love Basketball TV. It's Coach Ryan Rizuki. Today we are talking about where you need to look when you're aiming to shoot a basketball so you can have a much more consistent jump shot. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we need to talk about when getting into our shot is making sure that our hands and our feet are placed correctly as we get into our shot. Because even if we're focused and locked in on the rim, if you're not shooting the ball correctly, you won't be able to make that shot. So number one thing I'm always teaching is making sure that we have the index finger or we have a split finger hold here or middle finger. All these are okay as long as your shooting hand is underneath the basketball, which will make it a lot easier to snap the wrist and get that ball traveling in a straight line. Because even if you're locked in, you're focused on the correct spots on the rim, it's going to be really hard to shoot if your hand is on the side of the basketball and you can't get correct arc or correct backspin. So number one thing, shooting hand in the center guide hand right here on the side. However, you can also have it a little in front or a little bit on top as long as you're here relieving pressure. Instead, you never want to have it behind the basketball. Once your guide hand is behind the basketball, you'll end up pushing it and that's really going to throw off your shot. So let's make sure shooting hand in the center, guide hand on the side, a little bit on top, a little bit in front is okay. Then we can release that ball much cleaner, understanding how to do it correctly. Now that you understand how to shoot the ball correctly, you want to make sure that you're on balance because if you're off balance, it's going to really throw off the trajectory. If your head is turning or tilting in one direction, it's going to be really hard to aim correctly. So all these things are important. If you're fading away, it's going to be hard to calculate how deep or how far away the rim is from you or right or left or straight, having to recalibrate or compensate in those other manners. So let's make sure that we always have a good wide base. Our feet are here. You can have the right foot a little bit in front of the left foot. You do not want to have your feet too close together and you do not want to have a major turn. If you have too big of a turn, it makes it hard to shoot going in one direction. I understand the turn as you want to have your shoulder facing the rim, which is what some coaches are teaching nowadays. However, if my turn is too far and my feet are facing this way, now I'm losing a lot of scoring options because I can't go to my right side and pull it for a jumper because now instead of having my feet like this, I need to somehow whip it around to turn here and then expose the ball in a different manner. If I'm going left, it'll be easy. But as I'm always saying, try to be as square as possible. Little turn is going to be okay. So we're on balance. Then if you record yourself, make sure that you don't have a head tilt as you're getting in your shot. It will be hard to aim as well if you have a major head tilt. There are players who have a little bit of a head tilt as the ball comes through and that's going to be okay. But if your head is turning too far in one direction or the other, it will be hard to aim the basketball no matter where you're looking. Now let's talk about exactly where you need to aim. So there's a few different ways that we're going to teach this and you're going to find out which one's going to be best for you. Some players like to look at the front of the rim and then aim to shoot over those hooks and allow that ball to fall in over that front of the rim. If that's where you want to aim, that is totally okay, but you have to make sure that you're getting good arc because as you're looking at the front of it, you don't want to continue to hit the front. You want to make sure that it gets over the front of the rim. And how do we get good arc? We make sure that our elbow is right above our eyebrow when we get into our shot. So no matter where you're shooting from, you never want to have a push shot where your elbow gets below your chin or below your eyeballs or below your nose, but you always want it right there above your eyebrow. If you have good optimal arc and you're staring at the front of the rim, you can get that ball over and allow it to fall in consistently. A lot of players, instead of staring at the front of the rim, will then instead look at the three hooks that are holding the net on the rim. And that also works as well. But you have to make sure, just like I said, that you're getting the ball over those hooks and not hitting the hooks. So those things are okay as well if you want to have a certain focal point on that front of the rim. Totally okay as long as you get it over. Now for players who like to look at the back of the rim, also okay with this as well. However, the only problem with looking at the front and the back of the rim is that yes, you're aiming to get it over or yes, you're aiming to get it just short of those things, but your room for error shortens. And what this means is if I aim for the front of the rim and I'm trying to go over it, right? I got a little bit of room for air. Maybe I can get two, three, four inches over the front of the rim and make it. But if I'm an inch short, I'm hitting front rim, I'm missing that jump shot. If I'm an inch to the right, I might be hitting the front rim and I might miss to the right or an inch to the left. I might hit the left side and miss it to the left or the back rim. Same idea. So for me personally, what I aim for is the middle of the rim because if I'm aiming for the middle and that's where I like to shoot and I just kind of say, I'm looking at that center point or the, the rim as a whole and I'm aiming to drop it through the rim. Now I have a little more room for error because as the rim is big, I'm aiming for here. Even if I miss a couple inches in any direction, I'm still getting it to fall fairly through the middle of the rim instead of trying to get it over the front where I might miss short or a little short on the back where I might miss long and it might clank off the back of the rim. So I personally like to look at the rim as a whole, aiming for the middle of it. You might want to focus on the center if that helps you to have a focal point 
or if you want to focus on the front of the rim and get it over, back rim, all of the above are okay. I'm just explaining why I like to shoot towards the center of the rim because I have the most room for error and I can make the most amount of shots even if I'm slightly off. Here's a really good drill that you can use to help you to lock in, focus on the rim and make more shots. You're going to get into maybe a two or three move combo. So let's say one, two, three. From here I could turn in either direction but I want to quickly, as soon as my feet touch the ground, get into my shot. So let's say I'm one, two, three, pop, feet touch the ground, straight into my shot. So from there, I'm not trying to pause or wait when I, my feet touch the ground. What I need to do is make sure I'm locked in on the rim. This is a huge part when you're getting into your shot is making sure that you can get your eyes on the rim even before your feet are set. So if I'm going one, two, three, and I'm getting into my turn, I want to see the rim now before my feet even touch the ground. The earlier I can see the rim, the earlier I can aim into my shot, and that way I can make a majority of my shots. Because if I'm going here, boom, and then I try to look at the rim after I'm, my feet are already planted, it's a little too late. If I got a good defender, they'll get a hand on the ball or they'll close up those gaps that I was able to create. So let's make sure that we're turning. Two, three, either way, pop, and then straight up into that shot. So as soon as your feet touch, you're locked and loaded. If you want to go a little slower at first, that's okay. If you want to speed it up, once you have it down, challenge yourself. But this is a great way to lock in on the rim real quickly. You can do it from this mid-range. You can do it a little closer, you can do it a little further. You can mix up your moves, boom, and then pop into that shot but always staying low, staying on balance like we talked about, and then keeping that shot as straight as we can like we talked about as well. Aiming for the same spot and play with it a little bit. Maybe the front rim is best for you. Maybe the back rim is best for you. Maybe the rim as a whole or the middle is best for you. So figure out which one works best for you and that way you know exactly where to aim when you're shooting the basketball. The second drill that we have for you is gonna be more of a catch and shoot. So what you're gonna do here is you have two options, but you're gonna drop the ball and then quickly turn into that shot, just pivoting so now I get comfortable turning over either shoulder, drop, turn and shoot. This way I'm locating the rim as quickly as possible, but on balance and I want to make sure that I'm not fading away. Two, you could also do this with a behind the back. So I can go here and go behind the back, chase it, get into my shot, or come here and go behind the back, boom, and chase it into my shot. And this way I'm getting into a quick turn. And if you have to locate the ball, you got to make sure that you get your eyes on the rim as fast as you can. So both of these methods work incredibly well, but we're aiming to get into our quick catch and shoot jumper. Let's say you're separating from defense. Boom, quick catch, shot, locking in, focusing on the rim. The very moment that you can, getting your eyes up and front rim, middle, back, wherever you're aiming best for, we wanna make sure that we have that same consistency. If you can do this from the top, do it from the corners, do it from the wings, same idea, just making sure that we can lock in on the rim, focus on it and make more shots. Keep your art good and let's get better. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video.